finally, property rights, common sense property rights have been restored to Americans. What did the Supreme Court do today that has to do with the eviction moratorium and your rights as American property owners? <laughs> Welcome to another episode of the S. James Wise Show, and today is a very happy day, man, for property owners across the country. We are talking about the eviction moratorium and the end of the eviction moratorium, folks. I, uh, For those of you that don't know, I, your boy James Wise, am a realtor, realtor, realtor. I got this breaking news today, this morning, okay? The U.S. Supreme Court has ruled that the CDC lacks authority to do these eviction moratoriums, right? The CDC, they said, no, no, motherfuckers, you can't. You can't just strip property owners of their rights, right? The Supreme Court, all right? These nine people, these nine beautiful Americans, well, actually, it was a five to four split decision. So five of these nine people are beautiful Americans. The other four can go ahead and get fucked. But five of these nine U.S. Supreme Court justices have gone ahead and ruled that the CDC eviction moratorium is completely unconstitutional. This is the highest court in the land, folks. For us landlords, this is a game changer. Steve, what are your thoughts on this coronavirus eviction moratorium that was supposed to be like, what was it supposed to be like? Two weeks or something to, to uh, what was that two weeks to bend the curve or what was that called? What were we doing? Yeah, I think it was two weeks, but uh, you know, it's a good thing these property owners are, are getting control of their properties back. Like, folks, uh, <clears throat> the original, uh, moratorium happened, I believe in like, I don't know, uh, friggin' September, actually it says right here, September of 2020. And, uh, Biden, Biden went ahead and he extended this moratorium several times. And right now, uh, it's set to expire at the end of July. Now it's kind of interesting. Uh, seeing like the varying ways the different news organizations cover topics like this. So like the, the NAR, they sent me this breaking story telling me, hey, man, this is breaking news. This is amazing, right? So we got uh, like this is what they said. This is a massive victory for property rights, says NAR President Charlie Opper. For more than a year, mom and pop property owners have been pushed toward financial ruin as they upkeep their properties and pay their taxes, taxes and mortgages with no income of their own. With the pandemic waning and the economy improving, it is time to restore the housing sector to its healthy former function. Property owners also deserve this absolute clarity from our federal court system regarding property rights in America to avoid similar financial harm in the future, right? So this is this is funny. This is funny to me. This is like shows you the varying ways that these news organizations are going to cover topics, right? So the NAR says, hey, man, huge victory for us, dude. We crushed it. Property rights are going to be restored. We don't have to deal with any of this crap ever again. If there's ever a new virus, now we have a Supreme Court decision that, no, motherfucker, you cannot do this to us, CDC. So that's how the NAR is choosing to cover this. But if you go over here to fake news CNN, right? Jesus, let me get all these friggin' ads, all right? And CNN is choosing to cover it in a completely different fashion, okay? CNN's, Jesus. These ads. Okay, there we go. CNN. All right, their headline for the same story. Supreme Court allows coronavirus eviction moratorium to remain in place. Uh, if you didn't know any better, Steve, do you think we're talking about the same story between this and the story I just told you about with the NAR? Yeah, I would think not. Uh, but it is the same story. This is just how they're choosing to cover it, folks. Uh, the current moratorium. It's good through the end of July 2021. As I talked to you, it's the end of June. So one more month. The Supreme Court, they said it is unconstitutional. We'll never be able to, uh, they'll never be able to do something like this again. But yes, it is true. 
they decided not to immediately go in and lift it. They're going to let it play out. So there is finally hope at the end of the tunnel. There's a light at the end of the tunnel, despite, you know, these type of clickbait. Uh, what am I trying to say here? Despite these type of clickbait headlines that you're getting from the left and from CNN. It's all about to be over, folks. So what does that mean for real estate investors? One more month, your rights will be restored. In one more month, all of those deadbeats who've been milking you for everything you got, taking advantage of you, taking advantage of the situation, you will finally be able to remove them from your property. You will finally be able to take over something that you legally and rightfully own. And again, since this is a Supreme Court decision, the CDC will not be able to overstep their bounds and do this to you again should some other event occur. Because that's what it is, right? It's a slippery slope, right? When you start giving up your, your rights and your freedoms for this thing, right? If the Supreme Court would have went the other way, if it would have been 5-4 in favor of the CDC... What's next? This year, oh, we can't evict people because coronavirus is out there. What happens next year? Oh, the flu's really bad this year. We can't evict people because of that or this or that, right? It's a slippery slope. So this is a huge victory despite this fraudulent fake news headline. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about the Supreme Court Supreme Court's decision today? Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.